Welcome. In this module I'd like to briefly introduce you to system thinking. Um, system thinking, you can see, is an attempt, um, if you look at this slide that I've, I've used in other modules as well, but I think it's illustrative for um, the kind of world that we have created through our education and science that tends to be a fragmented world, a world in which we are very good at seeing smaller parts and connecting parts and seeing relationships and causalities between them and trying to measure how these relationships and using statistics to, to help us predict and analyze these relationships. We're very good at that, um, but as we get older and as we uh, move up uh, in education, in formal education, um, we lose that ability, it seems, to think in terms of relationships and connections. And if we want to deal with wicked sustainability problems, we need to learn to see the world holistically and uh, seeing integral, uh, in an integral way how issues around energy, around water, around food, um, around climate, how they are connected to one another and how issues that that happen today might uh, and what we do today might might influence what might happen tomorrow um, and how what we do here in Wageningen has an influence on what happens in um, in Burundi or in Vietnam there are connections but we're not very we're not very good at seeing these connections and also we're not very good in recognizing that the, the sum of the parts uh, tends to be bigger. The whole is more than the sum of its parts, is a familiar um, saying within system thinking that we don't know much about. Just to illustrate how, if we look at sustainability and the sustainability movement, and we look at uh, how, how many components uh, are connected to this, and how the whole system, to, to observe a whole system, uh, is quite a challenge, and in a way, um, our education uh, and our higher education, but a whole education column from early childhood to higher education is not very good at um, helping us see the connections between all these elements. It has to do with network creation, it has to do with good governance, it has to do with food, energy, economics, investing, um, design, science, technology, spirituality, learning, all these things have something to do with the sustainability movement. But how to create an environment in which you get a constellation of, of um, parts that together form an organic movement towards a transition, towards a world that might be considered more sustainable than the one we currently have in prospect. Similarly, you could look at, say, food security. It has to do with many aspects. Post-consumer losses, uh, post-harvest losses, how can we reduce that? How can we increase food production, but also increase access and availability, improve nutrition and health? And if you go on a layer outside, we have to look at logistics, infrastructure, globalization and ICT. How can that help? How does it affect climate? Can it be climate smart agriculture? What does that mean? How do we improve quality of soils, well-being of people? How, do we, how are we mindful of local development, biodiversity, water, markets and trade? And in the way on the outside, there are all kinds of mechanisms that can help influence and organize and improve the interaction. Uh, looking at governments, of governance, chain management, uh, entrepreneurship, education, capacity building, research, they are all available to help do that. But if all look at just advancing one sector or one particular piece of the puzzle, then it's unlikely that we can develop a systemic, integrative, holistic approach. Stephen Sterling has once uh, showed how um, for instance, education responds to these kinds of sustainability challenges and he, he distinguishes from very weak denial type responses saying, well, we, what, basically the way we have worked for a long time has been very uh, productive um, and there's no real re reason to change the way we deal uh, with the challenges of today. 
uh, universities have been around for hundreds of years and why should we now um, incorporate sustainability to a more a stronger response we need to add sustainability in courses or modules or uh, we need to build it in even where every course needs to address sustainability in higher education and maybe a thesis should always have a paragraph or a section reflecting on the sustainability aspect of the thesis and the university needs to also have a, 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 an environmentally sound way of dealing with energy, water, waste and so on to what he calls a wholly uh, integrative approach that requires a rethinking of the whole system how, of how we educate uh, and learn, which might require that we take real existential sustainability challenges as a starting point for what we do and what we research, what we learn, how we connect with the community and disciplinary knowledge and understanding feeds into that but it doesn't drive it. So system thinking in action has to do with understanding the structures, understanding relationships and connection, understanding the differences in time, now learning from the past, looking how that affects the present, anticipating the future, thinking about possible scenarios, backcasting, seeing how you can move towards achieving or realizing those scenarios, understanding the forces that keep things from changing, uh, understanding transitions, understanding power in transitions, powers that work with you, power that work against you, and understanding how it is not just the environment or the ecology or the social or the economic, it is all of those in their relationship. So systems thinking consti const constitutes, you could say, a critical capacity for dealing with complexity and recognizing and becoming mindful of relationships and interdependencies. But also the idea that the whole is more than the sum of its parts. And as such, it is crucial in addressing wicked sustainability issues and we need to start developing people's capacities and having arenas for practicing those capacities so that we can move towards a more sustainable world.